What is good? Fuck. Good. <laughs> Everyone. Shoobs here. <laughs> this is so scuffed. <laughs> I just want to note that Bolsa Supply sent these switches over for a honest review and I am an affiliate with them as well. You can use the link in the description or code SHUBES for 5% off your order from Bolsa Supply. Please use it. What is good everyone, SHUBES here. Today we'll be looking at these little bundles of joy. These are the Techno Violet switches from Bolsa Supply, riding on the coattails of the very nice Zaku switches that they released previously. These, like the Zakus, feature a long boy palm stem as well as double spring. However, unlike the Zakus, these feature a full nylon housing in this very nice dark purple color and a lighter spring weight of 58 grams. Very based spring weight by the way, uh, and light spring gang rise up. We will be testing the switches out with some of the popular linear switches in the market currently. The information on the switches are listed on the screen, so check it out. To the power of my scuffed editing skills. Yeah. Now looking at the stems of the switches, you can see that the Techno Violets and Zakus are pretty much the same length, slightly longer than NK Cream stems and the Palm Jurok stems, and they are very long boy compared to, you know, the regular Gat Yellows and Alpacas that are standard length. Welcome to another episode of Shoop's very scuffed stem wobble test. Uh, of course, like always, there's switch variants, batch variants, and all that, so take this with a grain of salt, but the Techno Violets? very very tight the zakus are equally as tight these taxi switches are very tight you usually don't need to film them i personally don't film these uh, banana splits a bit wobbly tangies also a bit wobbly alpaca v2s a bit wobble lavenders a bit wobble duroc palms pretty much all the jwks are similar gat ink v2s a uh, bunch of wobble. Get yellows, a bunch of wobble. Uh, personally, I would film the JWKs also, as well as the GAT switches. Cherries are also wobbly and creams are also wobbly. Compared to these, these new taxi switches seem to be much much tighter. Uh, that's what I can see overall. One big announcement for my Switch reviews and Switch videos. The Mode 80 has been retired from Switch testing. I no longer have the willpower to lube enough switches for a TKL for every damn video. Please, no more lube, no more lube, please, no more lube. And moving forward for my videos, I'll be using this AIO3. Vega for the switch tests. Also, you might have noticed, Shubes, where is the Z key? Well, the Z key on my GMK8008, which has served me very, very well, is now officially fucked. Uh, this was caused from me taking it out and taking it, taking it on and off over and over again thousands of times and honestly this thing is now loose as hell if i just put it on there it'll fly out so we will be using another key in the same profile in the z position so it's basically the same thing rest in peace z key and mode 80 you served me well see you on the other side
Anyways, like always, sound tests are not accurate and should be taken with a grain of salt. Everybody's keyboard case, lubing technique, and desk setup, and mic, and all that jazz is different. And yeah, let's get to the sound test. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're new here, everything will be done in the Z position of the keyboard case, as the position of the switch greatly affects the sound. Before we get to my thoughts, I just want to note again, this is my opinion and stance. You might have a different take and that is completely fine. Just don't go crying in my comment if it's different from mine. Anyways, for these techno wireless switches, I would say that it is as expected a fairly loud and proud switch with a hard hitting bottom out that feels extremely close to cream stem franken switches. The sound profile of the switches is definitely deeper than the Zaku's due to its nylon housing and I would say that the deepness of the switch is around, it's in the very deep category definitely in my opinion. I think it fits around with the inks and laughs but it's slightly less deep than those but it might be due to the lubing and whatnot. Anyways this is all like variance with the amount of lube and stuff like that but from what I can see the techno violet seem fairly deep with the tangies being the highest pitched in this sort of scale with its unwipe housing. As for the smoothness of these switches, I thought it was a tad bit scratchier than the Zaku's and I wouldn't consider these the smoothest switch in the market, but they're definitely not bad. I would rate the smoothness somewhere slightly under lavenders and something like that inks and these would be a little bit smoother than that. It's definitely much smoother than Hyperglyce or Milky Top Yellows, and in terms of the scale, the smoothest switch that I've tried was the Tangerines, and the creams still stand at the very top 
of the scratch food chain. Overall, I really dig this Switch. It's got a pretty nice and deep tone, and the typing experience on this with its 58 gram double spring is very light and airy with a bouncy return. It's hard to describe the feeling of the double spring in words, but compared to your regular springs, it feels light to the touch at the beginning with a bouncier and faster sort of return at the end. And the 58 gram double springs just feel mmm mmm. If you're in the market for a fairly smooth switch with a bouncy and light typing feel and a deep sound signature with that signature long pull, I think that the Techno Violets fit the bill perfectly and I would honestly highly recommend them. Anyways guys, thank you so much for all the support, we're growing pretty quickly, we're already at 4 54k, I, I almost said 45, 54k subscribers, that's crazy. Uh, more more videos on the way soon, and I really appreciate the support like always. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitch at ShoopsTube because we've been streaming a bit more recently, and we got a little Osu tournament happening as well. And yeah, more videos on the way soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.